Mechanical designers spend their careers developing tools and products to make people's lives easier. But what if they could develop tools to make their own lives easier? Doing this won't benefit them only, but everyone involved. Hi, I am Elias. I help Katia designers to develop tools to automate repetitive tasks, which are not adding value to their careers, not engaging their potential as designers and engineers, and not contributing to their growth. In this video, I will show you how automation can handle one of those tasks, which is measuring maximum dimensions of parts and creating bounding boxes. But what's exactly a bounding box? Well, it's a prism that encloses the part, often used in machining and coating. In assemblies, it's used for space allocation, design simplification, and intellectual property protection. With automation, you can perform this task on multiple parts quickly and easily. For example, this macro allows you to create a bounding box and get the maximum dimensions with a message or a text file, an Excel sheet, a drawing table, or a parameter. Okay. All you need is to select the parts. Now let's take one and check the result. Then perform the task, the task on multiple parts. So this is a bounding box following the main directions. We can create another one following inertia directions. And another one following specific directions defined by an axis system. So let's select this axis system for example. As you can see, you can create multiple bounding boxes for one part, and you can use these parameters to compare between them. Now let's see the application in an assembly. Okay, I can select specific parts, but also I can work only on my parts. Let's choose the main directions and export the result to a text file in this, in this time, for example. Okay. So this is the text file. Uh, we can export the result to an Excel sheet, but let's select some parts. Let's select these ones, for example. Finish the selection to start the process. Good. And we get the parts names with their Mac bounding boxes dimensions. If I don't want the dimensions, I can export here. I choose export to nothing. And I can select some parts. Okay. Um, and I choose, for example, to hide the part body. Uh, and this time I will select the bolts. Okay, so let's finish the selection. As you can see, these bounding boxes are also useful to simplify the design. Okay. Uh, we can export also the results, the dimensions to a drawing table. 
In this case, I won't um, keep the bounding boxes. Actually, I will delete the bounding planes, use it for measuring the dimensions. And I won't create a bounding body, right? I will keep the part body, uh, the part body is shown. And I will apply this operation on all the parts. Okay, so let's run. All the parts are selected first. Now it asks me to move to a drawing. So I will go to a drawing. I need to select a drawing sheet. Let's select this one, for example. Great. And now this is my table containing the part numbers and their maximum dimensions, and the parts maximum dimensions. Okay. Actually, I made this macro for the training in the first place as a typical example to analyze and learn from. Now I'm selling it to the public at an affordable price. And soon I'm starting a new training session. So if you are interested in participating or you want to get the macro for learning or for work, just contact me with LinkedIn or with email. And thank you for watching.